Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachak Wadash. Double honors being to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well and taught us this 100% truth. Much peace and blessings being to you, hopefully, like that to push not this word of thought, truth, and sincerity to all you welcome to say Shalom. I am the actor, I am from the servants, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, can be coming in with a quick lesson entitled on earth thy heavenly father yahweh through thy parents and that being your parents in the flesh you know your biological parents and it's through honoring them that you honor the father as well and that's a law you know to honor thy parents which i'm gonna bring out that precept soon but you know um it's one going to a book of Ezekiel, 18th chapter verse 4 proving the fact that the heavenly father you know yahweh is our is our is our father you know in the heavens it begins although yahweh is shy is the only begotten, meaning that the, meaning that Yahweh only created Yahweh Shai of Himself. You know, yet you know we're we're we're, we're all of Yahweh's because it was in the will of the Lord Yahweh to uh, put it in Yahweh Shai to create us. All right, everything else was created through Yahweh Shai. The scriptures say. You know, so uh, I'm gonna bring up the precept, the Book of Proverbs, the twenty-first chapter, Proverbs, the twenty-first chapter, verse one. It reads. The king's heart, and who's the king? Yahweh Shai is the king, man. You know that that's who the Lord, whom the Lord ordained to be, you know, rule over the over the, you know the universe, you know, in this time to come. All right, Yahweh Shai. So uh, you know the King of Kings, you know, Lord of Lords, as the scriptures say. So the king's heart, which that word heart goes back to the Hebrew word la'ab, which means mind, is in the hand of the Lord, as the rivers of water he turneth it with whatsoever he will. All right, so the Lord had it into the mind of Yahweh Shai to create us, man. You know, and with that being said, you know, um, hey, we, we, all, we all go back to uh, Yahweh as well. You know, uh, you think about it like uh, the pedigree, man. You know, you, you are what your father's, you, you are the seed of your father, and you are what your father's father is, right? So, if Yahweh Shai being the express image of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, then, you know, um, and they're the same, right? And we're begotten up from Yahweh Shai. Well, you know, that goes to show you that the Heavenly Father, you know, we're, 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 you know, we're, we're, we're um. You know, interconnected. All right, we're, we're all family. You know, the Heavenly Father is our, our, is, is our relative, you know. He's our family. So I wanted to get that out the way, Akim. But this is the book of Ezekiel, the 18th chapter, verse 4. It reads, and this is the Heavenly Father speaking. Behold, all souls are mine. Hey, see, all souls, you know, souls, you know, um, is interchangeable with the word spirit. So behold, all souls are mine, are mine. As a soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. I hey, see. So also the soul of the Son, and we're basically the children of Yahweh. I really think about it, is we created from them, you know. But ultimately, the ranking is again yeah, Yahweh's a father, Yahweh is our big brother, and you know we're the little brother. But goes on to say, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. All right. And what is the opposite of sin? Hey, the law. And through the law, we live, man. Yeah, because one thing to note is that through the through the scriptures, it's like yeah, um, yeah, basically the scriptures. Because that's where the, that's where you read the law. We read, read about the law. We you know it, you know it's through the law that we please the Lord, man. And that's you know that 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 goes into how um you know the Lord hates wickedness as the scriptures as the script, hates wickedness as the scriptures say. But you know we also please them in the fact that you know um. You know, um, carrying out the law, you know, it it, it shows him honor. You know, in the sense of you know, it, it shows much respect. You know, it shows it shows a great esteem to the heavenly Father. You know, and when the heavenly Father is our Lord, man. You know, you know, when when you're you know a man in power, when you're in a man in authority, you want to be praised. The heavenly Father wants to be praised, man. You know. So uh, this is the book of Malachi. The first chapter, verse 6, it reads, Alright, a son honoreth his father, and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is mine honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Say the Lord of hosts unto you. You know, um, O priests that despise my name, and ye say, where have we despise thy name? You know, so, um, yeah, you know, honor and fear, they go hand in hand together because, they, you know, they all go back to a religion. And when, when you're religion, that word religion means servitude. And, you know, you're, you're, you're serving the, the, the Heavenly Father in fear, man. 
or you know that's a that's a little fear but also a fear you know um going into you know you you serving him because one thing i know is that when there's a man in power wh whom you fear you're gonna do what that man tells you right so likewise with the heavenly father he he, he could mess us up man you know he, he could take us out this truth he could uh bug us out like you know nebuchadnezzar he, he could do a whole man of evil upon us you know for no damn reason you know, you know, just cause, just, just to show you his fear. You know, it's like just to show you his might, just to show you his power. You know, and the Lord likes to do that. You know, back in the book of Job, he he was, you know, going into how how he's this, you know, omnipotent power. So you know, um, they, they go they go hand in hand. But yeah, rereading it again, a son on earth is father and servant his master. If then I be a father, where's mine honor? And if I be a master, where's my fear? I right, which uh I can get out the definition for that word honor. It means an adherence, you know, to what is right or to a conventional standard of conduct. And what is right? The law, man. You know, we were given the law. The book of Psalms it's 180 I forget I forget what it was, but it reads uh, how um unto Jacob have I shown my statutes and I'm not thus so with any other nation. You know, so we were given the law. Not only that, but um Another definition for the word honor is uh, fulfill an obligation or keep an agreement. And one thing I know is that back in the ancient world in the wilderness, we swore an oath to you know to keep the law, man. Hence why, to this day, circa twenty twenty three, we're, we're under the curses, we're under the effects of the curses, man. We're under the effects of the law. You know because hey, that 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 covenant has been you know sworn in. You know, but uh, you know, going back to the definition, it says fulfill an obligation. Keep an agreement that word obligation translates to the word duty, you know. And you know, it's our duty as an Israelite man to adhere to this law, man, you know, because that, that is whom you know the law is given to the Israelites. All right, let's see. Yes, he's a 12 chapter, verse 13. It reads, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh, all right, by Shemuel Shai, and keep his commandments, and keep his commandments. All right, what you so gave to us, for this is the whole duty of man. All right, duty of man, be, you know, that that man, of course, being an Israelite man, because, you know, this long even for the heathen on this side, no, that's, that's for the kingdom. All right, and that would be a fulfillment of prophecy in the kingdom. But right now, it's only given unto, you know, one nation, that being the Israelite, so that's, that's talking about us. This is the whole duty of man And that word duty Again it translates to the word adherence It's like an ob obligation So we're here, we're here to fulfill a duty You know hey, You know uh, this, this is a job basically We gotta do We're in the righteous acts And doing these lessons You know and that, that's, that's what we're That's what we're here for You know prophesy You know preaching the downfall Of this wicked kingdom Out in the highways and hedges Around these sit downs And things of that sort you know, but next, uh, I want to go to the book of Exodus, Exodus, the 20th chapter. You know, I was supposed to bring that out. I mentioned it earlier. So Exodus, the 20th, Exodus, the 20th chapter, verse 12, it reads, Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee. And because honor them is a law. And the scripture is going to how well, mind out the law about thy neck and thou shalt live a long life. And that's in the book of Proverbs, the third chapter, verse one, if I'm mistaken. So, you know, honor thy father and thy mother. And, you know, through honoring them, that being, uh, being patient with them. All right, because the majority of our parents, majority of our families are in this truth, you know. So, either way, you don't want to be quick to wrath. You know, scripture's going to how you're supposed to be slow to wrath. You know, so, uh, being patient with them. Also, you know, carrying out the, the these tasks, you know, that, that, that they set up for you. You know, this, running these errands that, that, that they, you know, give you. So that's where you gotta do some chores around the house. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta comply with the, you know, house rules, you know, car rules, things of that sort. You know, that as as an example of honoring them. And through that, you're also honoring the father, man. You know, uh, uh, as well as you know, you honor the father through these, you know, keeping the laws in general. All right, so I just wanted to do that, you know, and hopefully this is almost edifying. And to the next one, I say shalom.